Ahoy, shipmates! Check out that red circle. In there, you can see a chap swimming, just as a 400 meter long container ship is bearing down on him. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the chap was thinking by jumping out of his rib, which you can just about make out going down the side of the container ship. But he decided to abandon ship and swim. Now, I'm not sure I fancy my chances against a 400 meter long container ship. I think I would have stayed in the rib, um, which is a lot more floaty than I am, and taken my time. Whereas floating down the sides of the container ship and going near the propellers at the rear is probably not a good idea. This was footage from BBC News taken by some chap on one of the Red Funnel ferries. We also happened to get a f shot of this from the Netley cam as well. It's been quite the week in Southampton. We've had a number of stories in the news from the area with the Dill Bar featuring on BBC News. That's my own personal footage. And we've had a recent Saga ship returning with an outbreak on board. Uh, but yeah, this one was also featured in the news as well. Now, I think we could just about make out this chap swimming. It seems quite ridiculous to me to go swimming against a container ship. Uh, that is what happened. And the red funnel is just passing. Quite lucky, really. Apparently he was trying to start his outboard engine and was frantically pulling away at it, uh, but it wouldn't start. Hence he ended up in the middle of the shipping lane. I personally think I would have stayed on the rib itself, given the fact it's got a lot more buoyancy, and would have paddled using the oars that you have for emergency situations. Although I suspect he didn't have any oars, but one would imagine that paddling a rib, even a very small rib like that, by hand was probably quicker than swimming, and a lot safer as well. Apparently everyone was okay though. The chap survived. He's, his friends are also there in a small boat, which we might be able to see in a minute. The Coast Guard was also in, called up and they said that he'd taken the hospital and everything checked out well. But that just goes to show you the dangers of the waterways. When you least expect it, a 400 meter long container ship will come and run you over. You can see here at this point the Red Funnel Ferry has actually stopped and is starting its man overboard drill, which is something they practice quite often in case of passengers falling overboard. But most of the time it seems to be the Red Funnel actually stops to pick up struggling people in the Solent, which there does tend to be a lot of. A very accessible stretch of water that's very popular. And you do get a lot of people who are ill-equipped for a day on the water. Yeah, the Red Funnel did ready their rescue boat and I think they spotted quite quickly that there was also another boat on scene that was going over to rescue the chaps and they put the engines back and forward and carried on their way. And we can just see the other boats now coming out of the tail. I see the Red Funnel starting to go backwards to check up on the events of the day. Well, it's just a quick one today, shipmates. I, I really think we should have a Solent Ships news channel. There's enough news going on in the area, it seems to me, most of the time, that we could have a weekly news broadcast. And you can see the boat, the small rib is just to the right now of the Red Funnel Ferry. See if we can get more of a zoom in. Yes, yeah, so we could have a weekly ship's news. Definitely enough going on. Well, I just thought that might interest you. A typical, well, I shouldn't say a typical, not a typical day. But there's always something atypical going on in the area. Well, until next time, shipmates.